welcome Tim Jarrah. Tesla stock went down by 50% on March 20, 2020. Are you for real right now? I can't remember what I had for breakfast. You want to know why something happened two years ago? Forget about it, man. But Jedi knows. Jedi? No way. What did he say? Go to 2020. You must choose. You will find. Hmm? Nah, not that Jedi. Jedi, join, educate, discover, invest. It's what we're here to present. Present? Oh, it's kind of starting to make sense now. I was wondering why you brought a whole audience just to study in 105. Y'all here for that too? Yes, yes sir. sir. Uh, well, let's get going then. Join, educate, discover, invest, Jedi. Yeah, it's what's up. The first tool that you can do straight out of the graph with the news that may have caused it. The first tool that gives investors the ability to forecast the future of a stock's performance using your own what-if scenarios. Yes, that's what Jedi is all about. Let's find out how it's done. Sharad, all yours, man. Thank you, Irfan. So once again, our project is Jedi. It stands for Join, Educate, Discover, and Invest. And our product is a revolutionary stock tracker app that focuses on two hacks. First, we look at the past in which we display historical data on a given stock's performance, and we bring up correlated news articles that are relevant to it during its time. And our second part that we like to focus on is the future, in which we give users the ability to select from predefined scenarios that could occur in the future. And based on that, we will display on what we predict based on our model. In order to explain how we achieve all this, I will now pass it off to Manny. Thank you, Sharad. So every day, Thousands of news articles and financial reports are released, which affect the evaluations of domestic equities, mutual funds, and exchange traded funds. Essentially, these collections of dynamic stories and metrics provide information to the investors who control the broader American stock market. And if you think about it, the sheer scale of this information can be quite overwhelming <laughs> to investors looking to make well-informed decisions. So with JEDI, our overall mission is to establish meaningful connections between news and performance data in order to gauge the robustness of any particular stock. To accomplish this goal, news articles are classified and checked for accuracy and relative importance, and filters are implemented based upon events likely to occur in the short-term future. Rahul will now discuss the user interface elements which will bring Jedi to life. All right, so as you can see up here, we have several elements within the Jedi application to make the user experience as easy and as informative as possible. As you can see up here on the left-hand side, after the users are choosing a stock, after they choose a stock and after they decide what they want information about, we will present them with a graph of the past historical data that has been reported for that stock up until this point. From there, users can use that graph to select a date or a range of dates to choose what times and what dates we would like information for from the stock that we have selected. From there, we can choose how those dates correlate to various different articles and we suggest what articles potentially caused the amount of motion that you saw with the stock for those dates within that range, as well as potential reasons as to why those articles correlate with the stock motion that we've seen. In this manner, we hope to connect the dots between news events, real life events, as well as stocks, so that people can make better, more informed decisions about why stocks could potentially move, how they could move in the future, based on how they have moved in the past, and thereby make better decisions as to what stocks they can buy to make the most profit possible. <clears throat> as you can see over here, uh, our relevant events are completely based on the uh, UI model uh, of the user as soon as they select whatever they want to, and we also have the option to forecast more data based on all of the historical data that we have recorded upon the stocks using our uh, various machine learning predictive models. 
And now, Dharma will talk more about our application. Thank you, Raul. So now I will do a quick demo of what our app actually uh, looks like. Uh, so here we have uh, essentially three main views. Uh, so the first one is the landing page, which is the first, uh, when you first open up the app, that's the page that you'll see. Uh, essentially, we basically have uh, the, name, the name of the app along with a couple buttons down at the bottom. Uh, and once you tap on the Get Started button, it will then bring you to the second view. Here is where you will see uh, the search engine up at the top. Uh, so here you can basically select whichever stock that you want, uh, either by typing it in or you can either uh, pick uh, any of the options uh, that show up on uh, the drop down menu as you saw over there. Uh, once you select a stock, uh, you can then see the graph, uh, and then below the graph, you will also see a timeline. This timeline is interactive, uh, so you can tap anywhere along it to select a particular date that you want to focus on. Uh, and once you have done that, you can then tap on the Learn More button, which will bring you to the third page, uh, which is the Articles page. So here, uh, you basically have a list of articles uh, that are related to the stock that you looked up, uh, and they will all be filtered according to the date that you picked uh, on the timeline. So it makes it very easy for the user to find uh, certain articles during certain dates uh, for a particular stock. Uh, but that is basically an overview of the past section of lab. I will now hand it off to Mohammed. Thank you, Donald. So the next part of application is the ability to see estimates on future stock performance. Think of any possible scenarios, such as Joe Biden winning a re-election or an impending natural disaster. How will those affect your stocks and your money? With Jedi, you can know. So let's think of an example. What if you wanted to know how, say, their re-election will affect an Apple stock? So simply open the application, Pick the Apple stock and then pick the corresponding scenario and Jedi will show you the future. So our app has a beautiful stock forecast UI. So once again, just pick a scenario and Jedi shows you the future. So our app uses a combination of past history and a magic machine learning algorithm to determine how your stocks will move. So now we're going to walk you through a demonstration of how the future aspect of Jedi works when this video gets started. So the first thing you'll see is a landing page and you click on get started. And after hitting get started, you are directed to this page where you can now choose what stock you wanna get information about. So for this demonstration, we're gonna use Google. And after you get to Google, you can click on forecast. And now you're given a drop down of scenarios from which you can choose from. So, Basically, each of these scenarios is to be interpreted as, given this event, uh, how will your stock be expected to perform? So for example, given Joe Biden is president, how is Google stock expected to perform? And once you click on that scenario, you're given a forecast for the next two months. That blue line is your forecast. And basically, we also give you some additional parameters too for, you to further judge and evaluate the uh, robustness of Google stock with respect to Joe Biden being present. So now we have Anise who will talk about the future aspects of Jedi. Thank you, Irfan. As for future expansion opportunities, first, we can use sentiment analysis in order to analyze news articles to showcase how a stock might react to a particular event. We will also use natural language processing in order to create custom filters so our users can test a wide variety of events as well as improve the breadth of our app. Lastly, we'll develop an investability coefficient which will take in relevant parameters in order to make sure that you can determine what stocks will be important for the future in response to a particular catalytic event. So, a lot of us work, have internships, or are making money in some way. That money has to be invested. To echo a sentiment expressed by the Wizard of Omaha, Warren Buffett, money at rest is simply not money at its best. So if you wanted to invest, you don't have to go to some galaxy far, far away. You've got Jedi right here. So folks, it's about time we use it to get investing and get that money. With that being said, May the force be with you all. We're truly humbled to have had this privilege of presenting our stuff with you here today. We thank you all so much for your time.
terms of like the class as well? Yeah. yeah, that's a great question. So right now we have just the drop downs that we have, but for the future we are planning to give like users that uh, custom searchability. But that would be kind of difficult since like you would have to basically like create some kind of capability that can think like. But right now we have just like the drop down of like filters to choose from. But that is like a future expansion opportunity. Thank you. All right, just a little bit to add on to that question. Based on that, in order to have that function in our app, we have to employ what Anise said before: the sentiment analysis. What we can which is basically, we can basically take what is written in the text bar, like whatever our, whatever drop down menu addition that they have. We can see if it's positive or negative with that stock using that sentiment analysis. And then based on that, we can give our prediction on that. So yeah, that's how we'll probably employ that later on. But good question. Also to add on a bit, um, there's a lot of talk about using uh, GPT-3, which is an AI that you guys might be hearing in the news lately. There's also something called the Vader lexicon, which assigns uh, polarities to particular words. So that might be the basis for entering custom queries in the future. Great, that's a question. Um, any other questions in the audience? We have time for one more. Here, yeah. Going once. Going twice. Well, in that case, round of applause.